ready to create your Wix website, you can go to Wix.com or if you'd like to support our channel, use our affiliate link in the description below. After you sign in, it's going to look something like this. Click on create new site. Here you can get help with their AI assistant. They'll ask basic questions about your website and AI can generate a website template tailored to your needs. In this video, I'll show you how to set up everything on your own. So right here, we're going to click on set up without AI. Choose the type of website you'd like to create. You can see some of the examples here. If your business isn't listed, don't worry. You can type in your industry and more options will appear. I'll type YouTube educational channel and click on next. Here you'll add the name of your website. Don't worry, it's not a problem if you don't have a name yet. You can always add it later. Click on next. Depending on the type of business you choose, different pages will be suggested to you. And here you have even more options, so take your time and read the description for each one. Here if you find anything you want to add to your website, just check the box and then click on next. You can select as many pages as you like. I'm just going to add a blog here. Here we can choose a template or build a custom built website. We're going to choose custom built website for this tutorial. The first thing that we have to do here is enter our information and connect our social media accounts. You can change this later in the footer or the contact page. I'm going to show you how to do that later on. Here, pick the theme you like. I'm going to go with the humble design. Pick your favorite homepage design. I'm going to choose the second one. Here you have suggested pages for your website. You can pick some of them here or just add any page you want later on. I'll select about and contact. Click on edit site to start customizing your website. The first thing you'll see here is the home page. In the top left corner, you can see the page and here you can switch from one page to another. On the left side, you can find the menu to add elements, sections, pages, and design the site. Here you can switch to mobile view. This is something that's important because a lot of your website visitors are gonna be viewing your website from their phone. And then here you can connect your domain. And in the top right corner, you can save, preview, and publish your website once you're done. Speaking of domains, the sponsor of today's video is Porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today. Get an additional dollar off their already low cost domains by using the code thefigco 24 at checkout. If you want to find out why Porkbun.com is also our favorite domain registrar, check out our 2024 best domain registrars video in the description below. Now let's start customizing the website. As you can see, each page has sections hover over a section to see the editing options. When you put your cursor over a section, to edit the section, click on Quick Edit. Here you can change the content and the layout. In Wix, you can customize the background of your website by clicking on Change. You can choose to use a color, image, or a video for your background. I'm gonna select the color this time. Since this is the template, there's no need to change the color here. This one fits the website best, so we're gonna leave it alone. If you wanna change the background image, double click on it and you'll be able to organize your gallery images. You can change the order by dragging them. If you don't like an image, you can delete it by simply clicking on the icon at the bottom right hand corner. To add another image, click on add image and upload from your computer or search online. This time I'm gonna search online. I'll type YouTube and choose one of these images. Once you find an image you like, select it and click on add to gallery. I'll just change the order and click on done. Now that we chose the background, let's edit this text. You can change the position of the text by dragging it. You can see here we have the name of the company, but I'd also like to have an additional paragraph below it. Paragraph is just another element on the website, so I'll click on Add Elements from the menu on the left-hand side. Then click on Text and Paragraphs and choose the one you like. Find the right position for it and click on Edit Text. Let's type Grow Your Business with YouTube, and I'll change the font to make it a little bigger. Here you can adjust the font, making it bold, italic, underline, change the color or the style. Feel free to improvise choosing the style and font you like best. Now let's edit the header. To edit, click on Quick Edit. I wanna make some changes to the menu. Click on Manage Menu and you'll see all the pages that you have. If you click on the Options menu on the right, you'll be able to change the page background or the name. To delete, just click on Delete at the bottom of the menu. I'll delete the blog. Later, I'll show you how to add new pages. Let's move to the next section. On the right hand side, right above the pen icon, you'll find these arrows. You can click up or down to move the section up or down. Let's make a few changes to this section. Click on Quick Edit. To change the image, click on Change. This time I'll upload an image from my computer. After uploading it, you can use the options on the right hand side to edit it. You can crop it, edit it, or make adjustments. There's a lot of options, brightness, contrast, highlights, and others. If you don't like the changes you made, you can just click Revert to Original and then click on Choose Image. Let's make a few more changes to this section. To change the title, just start typing. I'll write Start Today and also delete the text inside the first paragraph. I'll keep this second paragraph and paste in text I've already prepared. You can also change the layout. 
I'll choose a different image shape. Let's add a button here. Click on Add Elements from the menu along the left and find the button. You can see there are a bunch of different options for buttons. I'll choose the blue one that goes with this template. Now I'll reposition the image and paragraphs to make sure there's enough space for the button. To make changes to the button, just click on it and you'll see the settings. I'll change the text inside the button. Instead of button, I'll type contact us. To add a link, click on the icon next to the button. If you want to link to another website, select web address and paste the URL into the field right here. Or in my case, I just want to link to another page of our website. So I'll keep page selected and choose contact. If someone wants to work directly with us, they can fill out our contact form. Now let's make some changes to the footer. Adding the footer is simple, just like the other sections, click on quick edit and you can make any changes you'd like. The footer, like the header, are gonna show up on all the pages of your website. Now let's edit the contact page. In the top left corner, click on pages and choose the contact page. I don't like this page that comes with the template, so I'll click on the options icon at the bottom of the menu and select delete. Now I'll add a new contact page, which is basically a new section. Here on the left below add elements, you'll find add section, Click on it and choose contact. Here you'll find a bunch of different options. Depending on the type of business you have, you can select what you wanna have here on the contact page. If you have a physical location, you may wanna list your hours, phone number, and address with a map of the location. If you have an online business like ours, you may wanna only include your social media links as well as a form that someone can fill out if they wanna contact you. Here you can click on quick edit and make any changes you like, the same with any other section. Let's edit the contact form by changing some of the text. I'll change the title by typing let's talk and then I'll remove the address and phone number since our online business doesn't share that. This contact form wasn't added with the template so I'll need to change the email address. Finally, you'll see a button for set links. Click on it and on the right hand side, you'll see the place to add each of the URLs. You can see YouTube is missing so I'll click on add icons and find it there. Type YouTube to see the different icons. I'll choose the black icon. Just paste the URL and your social media account will be added to your website. I'll add Instagram as well as YouTube. And then repeat this process for adding any additional URLs. Once you're finished, click on done and your social media accounts will be added to your website. Again, I'll change some of the positioning and the contact page is finished. Now let's go back to the home page and add another section. I'd like to add a testimonial section, so I'll click on this. I want to have the testimonials lower down the page, so I'll change the position with the arrows along the right hand side. To change this text, just double click on it. Also, as we saw before, we can change the style, font, and size, as well as add effects. I'll just copy and paste the testimonial text that I already have. Now let's add a blog. I want to add it to the navigation bar. You can hover over the header and click on quick edit. Then click on manage menu, and you'll see add page. Click on it, and then choose blog. Finally, click on add Wix blog. The blog is now added to the navigation menu and we can start creating posts. Click on settings and then on manage posts. As you can see right now, there's no blog post. Let's click on create new post. Here's what the post editor looks like where we can add all the content for the blog post. Start by giving it a title. I'll type how to grow your business with YouTube. You can add text, images, videos, anything you want for your blog post. I'm just gonna copy and paste text that I'd already written. At the top of the page, you'll find options to change the text. You can make it bold, italic, etc. You can change the color. I'm just going to bold the first paragraph. Here I'll add an image. Click on the button at the beginning of the line and choose image and I'll upload an image from my computer. Once it's uploaded, click on add to page and now we're finished with our blog post. It's going to automatically save as we go along. All I need to do now is click on publish and we have our first blog post. You can see it right here. If you want to edit it, you can click on edit. If you're not satisfied with it for whatever reason, you can click on move to trash. To see how the post looks once it's published, I'll close the dashboard and change the page to post, and you can see it right here. If we go to the blog, you can see the post as well. Now all the pages are ready, we just need to publish our website. Before you publish your website, you want to make sure all the pages look good on a tablet as well as a mobile phone. Here you can switch the mobile view to check that everything looks good in the mobile version. Once you're satisfied with everything, click on publish at the top right hand corner and now your website is live. With Wix, you can create and publish your website for free, but the URL is gonna look something like this. There's an ad on your website, you have storage limits, and you won't be able to sell online. We recommend choosing one of the paid plans, starting at $17 per month, paid annually. Here's the price if you choose to pay monthly instead of annually, you can see it's quite a bit higher. If you choose an annually paid plan, you also get a free domain for the first year. 
Keep in mind that a domain doesn't include privacy protection, which costs an additional $9.90 per year. That's where Porkbond.com, the sponsor of this video, comes in. You can purchase a .com domain for $10.37 per year. If you don't choose an annual plan or after the first year is up, here's what the pricing looks like for a .com domain from Wix. Quite a bit more, especially if you're also spending $9.90 per year for privacy protection. With Porkbun, you also get a dollar off your domain for the first year if you use the link down below or the discount code, the FIGCO24 at checkout. Your domain purchase with Porkbun also includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. If you do choose to get a free domain with Wix, there's a video in the description below that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to transfer your domain from Wix to Porkbun, allowing you to save a few dollars per year and also get free privacy protection. If you haven't yet committed to building your website with Wix, maybe you want to check out our best website builders video that you can see up above, or if you want to check out our Squarespace tutorial, our favorite website builder this year, you can see that video down below. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.